anatomy of dreams. That means we should be able to look at structural elements. So we'll take a look at dreams. going to get to a very interesting issue. So let's approach it cautiously, get to it. First, a dream. Who's got one? Thank goodness. Huh? Thank goodness. <laughs> All right. This afternoon. Oh, good. Okay, let's do it. What are we going to do? You must never analyze a dream unless you can write it out and see all the parts and the language of the dreamer. Go ahead. I'm in a building in Rome. In Rome. It's about three stories high. Actually, I think it's more like I'm on the third story. I'm not sure how high the building is. I'm in the third story. I uh, tell my friend, uh, his name is Bill too, he's an old friend, who's with me. I said, come on, let's go. And then I said, I'm going. And he's kind of resistant. And I know he can't go anywhere without it. Without me, excuse me. He can't go anywhere without me. I know that. Tell him again. He says, come on, I'm going. And just then, the whole building rocks like an earthquake. And I said, oh shit, an earthquake in Rome. And I was thinking about how the buildings in the United States might be better. These are these old, old buildings. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, it's, and it sort of calms down, I mean the earthquake, it sort of calms down. And I look at it, and I'm thinking maybe it'll do it again. I want to get out of it. Bill isn't coming yet. Okay. <clears throat> but he's still resisting the camera. He's still, Bill isn't coming yet. States of mind, or do you want to do this? Well, this is really one division and these are the parts now because there's one thing that goes through the whole thing therefore it's a whole and these are sequences right? within each division this is division these are the sequences we can list them just go over it once more. Always go over it. Always go over it. Go ahead. You want me to read it again? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you do it, anything that comes to you right. on reflection, add to it. I'm in a building in Rome, mm -hmm. and uh, the scene is very clear. It's the room is one of those old Roman buildings. And it's, and it says it's about three stories high. I know I'm on the third floor. I can see out and see the street below. It's very clear. You can see the streets? I can see down, yeah, so I know about the stories. Okay. And 
and uh, my friend is there. I'm telling Bill, who's with me, I'm saying to him, come on, let's go. In the room, there appears to be somebody else. He's doing something with someone. And then I said, I'm going. Uh, he's doing something with someone else. Uh, yeah, talking or talking. Something. Yeah. Okay. He's standing. I know he's standing up. That's all. That's an image of school. I said, "Come on, let's go." And then I say, "I'm going." But the state of mind is important. Good. Because uh, when I say I'm going, it's like a threat. You know, but I'm, it's not real. I'm, I'm not going to leave without it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he's kind of resistant. As if he's not paying attention. Yes, yes. It's like he, it's not that he's resisting me, he's just doing what he's doing. Or something like that. Okay, perhaps. So I told him again, I said, come on. Then I said, I'm going. Same kind of threat. Uh, you know. mm -hmm. And there's this note in here, and I know he can't go anywhere without the mm -hmm. Good. And this all harkens back to the trip I took. Is that the same person? Same person. Okay. Same almost exact situation. So that's what the second. Go ahead. He's dependent on me, but I know this is not connected with mm -hmm. uh, And just then, the whole building rocks like an earthquake. It is an earthquake. It's moving. Uh, and again, you look around at the building. <coughs> and I said, oh shit, an earthquake in Rome. I said that because of how the buildings, I saw the buildings there is not any subjective earthquake, so I thought they would probably fall. And, uh, and I was thinking about how the buildings in the United States might be better, and I was even thinking about California, but I still stand in these old buildings. So I got this whole con, you know, thinking about how the building is going to work and everything, and, uh, uh, and it sort of calms down. And I'd look at it, that means I, I'm, I'm waiting to see if it's really going to, this is just the first shock of a big one, or is, this, is it over for a while? And uh, then I'm thinking maybe it'll do it again. And I want to get out of it. Hope I can get out, get out of the street before it, you know, so maybe this is just a first shock. And uh, my friend Bill is coming in. He's still in the exact same state. He was in an age that nothing has changed. Good. Good. Now, you added to it certain states of mind. That was worthwhile. So we have a sequence. A to F. We have a goal. What's the goal in the dream? Always find the goal and the conflict within the goal, about the goal, to gain the goal. Right? What's the goal? Well, it changes a little because in the first one said, so let's go. There's no reason to get out of there because of the earthquake. The second one, I mean, when I want to get out of there at the end, I think it's uh, F or E. Um, in that case, I want to get out of there because of the earthquake. I don't want to, if there's going to be another big shock, I don't want to be in that building. So it's, it, the goal is more immediate. In the way. And the other one is, let's go and I'm going to Where's the conflict? Um, in the dream. Where's the conflict? Where's the conflict in the dream? Between me and him, as far as I can tell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, but it's, it's more of a conflict inside of myself. I mean, it's like, that may be my waking self looking at you know, like, screw him or that is well. It's, like, that's not the setup. The setup is like, we have to, we have to go get it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going to search for symbols and separate them from images. 
Now, talk about Rome. That's all you need to do. Talk about, see, Rome has many images. Whatever one you're going to pick must be consistent with the dreamer. For that's the personal historical. Get that first. Always get that first. Okay. Go ahead. As you consider Rome, just talk about it. Country, difficult to communicate. The, the setting here is important because uh, this fellow, when I went to, I did go here with him, uh, he was fluent in French, and uh, when we were in Rome, we stayed at one of his house because she spoke French. Mm -hmm. I was out of the conversation, I didn't know Italian and French, I don't know And uh, that, that's all I can think about. In, in Rome, it's a lot of old buildings. Mm -hmm. and, uh, anything else? I'm not thinking about the famous places in Rome. They don't come from mine. I'm talking about the old, like, right. small buildings, apartments, and hotels, and stuff like that. The old places. No, not ancient buildings, it's old buildings. Yeah, medieval. Yeah, 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 medieval, yeah, three, four, five years yeah, yeah. yeah. go back to the story and we go back to the story and <clears throat> I'm going to ignore the third floor ignore that go back to it later and now we book on it as a drama to put in place these two Here. so hey a principle of the third floor, what part of the dream would that represent? It's such that you're going to defer it in a way. How would you name that part of the dream? Yeah. It? How, how would you name it? Yeah, no, in the sense that it like you're, you're, on principle, you're, you're going to do something else with the dream now. That's right. Saying that it's important to go back to the third floor. That's right. But the thing is, you go, oh, what? what is that third floor? What can, in, other, in many other dreams, you're going to be similar. Things, what we call that thing, the third floor is. Right now? Yeah. You don't know. You don't know. It's going to be either one of these. A symbol or image. That's right. I don't need to know right now. Okay. But I don't need you know, to know. How did you know you had to go back on the personal history of Rome, but not go back on the personal history of the third floor? That's the setting of the whole place. That's the setting of the whole dream. Rome. Okay. Okay, now take a look now. We're going to do the same thing we always do. Alright? Let this be neutral. Let this be negative. Let this be positive. I want to put A, B, C, D, E, F on my scale. A. Now you can use level of intensity, you can use any standard you want. Let's consider at this point level of intensity. With a positive or negative intensity, I mean whether I'm happy or anything like that. Then we'll positive. put then we'll put that in next. Okay, well So therefore let's talk about clarity. Clear. Uh, I don't know about that. Well, you started out the dream by saying step A, you were very clear. Yeah, the scene is very clear. Right. It's very clear, very kind of real. It's very the detail. Real. It's very real. Yeah, clear. lots of detail. Like is that through the whole thing? The whole thing takes place in that room. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I'd say that the, the surroundings become less clear, especially up to your floor. Okay. So yeah. then, look at the, the first scene. I'd say it's fairly low intensity of feelings. It's a, just a minor. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's the beginning of trying to drop this guy to get going, although I know he's not really So, it moves? It moves up. Uh, a? Yeah, it's kind of low, and then it gets more intense as it goes, because uh, 
even it even goes up as I say, come on, and that's the first one. Come on, let's go. And then I say, I'm leaving. That's you know, that's pushing it up. It's kind of escalating as it goes, right? Each of those statements. Like this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as we go to, yeah, B, you got B there, and then C, yeah, C is the second time I say it. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, you know, I'm yeah. agitated, but yeah. you know, yeah. I get, we're not moving. Well, then we're, we're looking at the intensity as a negative, so yes, we can is. just put it down like this. Yes. Yeah, right. There's a force that wants to go, but it's not going. Okay, good, good. Clear. A is also clear, so we'll put that here. And when, you, you know, when you say D now, D is a different kind of feeling. All right. But, you know, that's, it kind of goes, first of all, the first, the first feeling is, uh, you know, like, what's happening, and then it comes, oh yeah, it's an earthquake, and then that point, you know, <laughs> in Southern California, when an earthquake starts, you, you, you kind of hold it there, you know, like, is this mother going to go big or are we just going to get a little light right over here? Mm -hmm. So uh, that's going on. And then when I notice that it's settling down, then my, that, that's when the earth is calming down, mm -hmm. not me. Mm -hmm. At that point, I'm beginning to look around. And when I realize in, in Rome, I'm thinking of this, the architecture. Mm -hmm. And, you know, kind of one of those old, this is just a little apartment. So it's like that's my concern. And then when you get to the, the E is that's when you just come down to F. E. Yeah, the little F, higher. Yeah, F the uh, I don't know what you call that now. The still yeah. resistant. E I say yes, E would go back up more because it's more contentious, mm -hmm. you know, what's going on, this and that, what can I do? And then F well, Yeah, F I want to get out of there. Maybe it'll do it again. That's the impetus for going. G. Okay. And in G, now there's a whole different focus in my vision. Okay. Because, uh, like, uh, in AM in the room. No, it's fine. AM in the room, but I want to mm -hmm. know someone named Gold. Uh, mm -hmm. C, I'm, you know, irritated, but I still have unnamed Gold. Then we're into a different scene at the earthquake. And now at G, F and G, I'm envisioning, let's get out of here. I'm seeing myself down those three flights of stairs and into the street. I'm thinking, how fast can I get down there and out of here? No. But, you know, also look out and I do something fall on the Urgent. Yeah, it's urgent. And, and it's an escape now. Not just moving on. It's kind of like, like a like tour or something. Mm -hmm. There is a slight image when, we, when I say let's go. It's like we're almost leaving the city. It's like that, you know, cool. So there's one theme that goes through the entire dream. Let's go. Let's go. And the goal becomes right. more immediate. Mm -hmm. Urgent, focus. immediate. Focus. Sure. Okay, good, good. Now going to take a look at it just in terms of the drama for a moment, all right? You'll back away and look at it as a drama. I should look at A, see where he is, visualize it taking place. All right, Bill is talking, it appears, with someone else. And you being the second Bill, or Bill, all right, you say, Come on, let's go. In terms of the drama, was he right? Was Bill right? Which? Bill you know what? No, were you right? Was I right? Come on, let's go. Yeah, were you right? I can answer that with that. In terms of the story, had you left, would you have achieved your goal? No. Right? Mm -hmm. You want it, it's urgent, immediate, to escape. Uh, that's when you're in the second one. That's escape is in the second part of the earthquake. Perfectly agree with you. Had you, uh, had you been able to act at A and leave, would you then have bypassed all of this? No, I would have been down about a floor or two. Pardon me. 
if you could have gotten out of this building, I had gotten out of this building. It, come on, let's go. If you could have gotten out, right. then the earthquake quake would have happened while I was in the street. That's right, and that would be all right. Yeah, except you know my sense about the dream and how fast this happened. Perfectly it's okay. very clear to me when I when I started thinking of the earthquake and how to get out of there. I visualized how far down I'd have to go. Okay. And I don't think I would have made it. I think we would have been on the stairwell. Okay. Alright. I mean, he'd have left at that moment. Okay. That's that's very important. We don't have to change anything. Mm -hmm. We can say, therefore you had a go, let's go. Right. Alright? Yeah. Alright. But it's just, and you would have been here. Right. According to your dream. Right. If he did, if that the was, sense of the dream. Yeah. If he had said, okay, let's go, we would, right. we would not have made it to the street. Fine. 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 That's real clear to me when I think of it down here. You have to now go back into the dream. Right. If you're in an earthquake, how important was it to descend to the second floor? Now, we can only talk about that in terms of the sense of the dream. This is a premonition. Come on, let's go. Notice the timing. You're saying it didn't give us enough time because it was imminent. Yeah, but when I said, come on, let's go, there's no sense that it was going to be imminent. Perfectly okay. You did have a desire to get going. That's right. Right. Had you acted upon it, you would have been here. That's right. Would that have, all we're talking about, would that have been better than here? No. That's all. No. Worse? Uh, then you're safer there? Where we are? Yeah. For an earthquake? Yes. While it's going on, yeah. Okay. And so because they go back here down to Eda, I'm thinking while I'm sitting there, is this going to be another one? Mm -hmm. And uh, it concerns me going down those stairways while it's going to happen. It's going to happen. So I want to get out. Okay. This, the dream is yours. We can't put our meaning on it. It has to come out of the dreamer. You're saying there was a sense in the dream, therefore that, okay? Then even though you had a premonition, it wasn't. It, it didn't arrive on time. That's right. It came too yeah. close. Yeah, but I have a hard time accepting that's a premonition. I mean, it's just... Well, uh, uh, no, okay. It's my dream, so yes, it must have been a premonition. It's my earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> Your earthquake? <laughs> All right, but, but it wasn't in time, you're right. I mean, it just, it, it needed five or ten minutes. In all right, the situation fine. Because, you know, it, even if I could get him to go, it would be like, he's talking to someone, and he's going to have, you know, that's the whole set of the dream. That's mm -hmm. the way that, see, there's no, there's no way in the dream that supports a scene where he says, yeah, let's go, and he turns around and starts running out the door with me, because that's what it's going to take, and it doesn't, that wouldn't work, you're right. Yeah. Therefore, it's uh, Well, come on, just You're asking me, is this true? I think that's what he said. Oh, well, it's your dream. As you consider your dream. As a premonition statement, though, it's not true. But there is, a, there is something you want to do. That's right. It does turn out to be significant to get out of there. Yeah. It, I, that is a theme that runs through the whole dream. It is a theme that runs there, you're right. That is right. You must not keep And the only question we have is if it had it come earlier, it would have been far better for everyone, yourself and your friend. That's for sure. No. So in that sense, you've got some kind of a, what do you want to call it? I'll back away from premonition. Well, something's right about that statement. Something's right about that statement. That's for sure. Yeah. And there's a resistance to it. That's right. And then it's when I'm going. That's that's the that's more intensity. Mm-hmm. There's more urgency to it. Mm-hmm. It's a building of urgency. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah. And then the, the earthquake makes it very rapid. State of mind. Okay? Now we're going to state of mind. It's as if he's not paying attention. 
Therefore, it's not strictly speaking that he's resistant. No, that doesn't work. In fact, he is, so we can take that name. out. Yeah. What name do you want to put in there now? That's real tough. This is, well, this is most difficult to name. Distracted is really into something else. I mean, I'll put that in. Yeah, I think that, that he was into, into something else, isn't it? Something else. Do you want to say he didn't hear you? Uh-oh. That's tough. That's tough now. I mean, as much as somebody may hear hear someone buzzing and making sounds and kind of doing what they want, but they're interested in it. Yeah, but this is it, usher. This is given in a certain degree of intensity. That's true. The second time, it's a lot of intensity. A lot of intensity? At uh, C. Therefore? Exact same words. He, he heard it. He heard it. All right. Okay. Then what's he doing? No, no, there's even, there's more, I think there's even body language. Okay, even body language. Yeah, there's something that you're... Right, right, right. So there's something important that you're communicating? Mm -hmm. And you see what's going on, he's not paying attention from the body language, you would, you would conclude what state of mind is in. It burns. All right, okay. Even though, to some degree, he's dependent upon you, he can't go anywhere without you. Right. And so now you give it the second time. It's more intense. More intense. More insistent. More intense. When I say I'm going, that's concern. That concerns me because I'm not. That's a lie. I'm not going to go without it. That's what I intend, that's what I require. Mm -hmm. I say, come on, let's go, and then I say, I'm going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, Doesn't work. No. Mm -hmm. no it it's not a real threat, he knows it. Oh, and he knows it. I mean, because of the situation. He, no. he knows how to go leave out. No. Okay. Like All right. So it works both ways. Yeah, right. All right. Good. More intense now. Oh, shit, an earthquake. Yeah, in Rome. In Rome. That's the expression. Yeah, earthquake in Rome. That's the building. Okay. Reflect for a moment. Okay, reflect for a moment. Remember the images you used to describe Rome. Go back over. Okay, go back over. You see them? really interesting to have to keep his images because absolutely you know Rome almost as a cultural value to us Americans but it's not such a good uh, someone else might say the three th three stories of the Trinity and it's the sacred city of Rome and build a whole symbol out of yeah. it but the symbol may not fit that's right it's his symbol it's his symbol a bunch of rickety buildings that's right but it's a primary thing it's yeah. old yeah okay back to it as you look at what he said about Rome go back over Right. Yeah. Well, no, I was thinking, right, in a foreign country, difficult to communicate. Looks like what's going on. What is it you see that is going on? He's trying to communicate. Right. To so, the choice, the choice of Rome as a Direct. sign. Let's call it a sign, so we don't have to talk about image or symbol. Uh -huh. Right. The choice of the dream master in picking out Rome as a sign fits two beautiful things here, doesn't it? Old building and difficult to communicate. You see, that's what he's going through as he's talking about it? And he's living it as he's going through the dream right now? Mm -hmm. Right? Saying, yeah, it's you're putting it together nicely, but there's difficulty he has to go through to pick it up? Right. Very good. Right. Now, Oh, sure. I know it's right. It's a good one, too. I mean, it's, a, it's a good one. I mean, it's a real shocker. It's, not it's a shocker. Good. You build a new, you have to hang out a little bit. Pardon me? You have to hang out a little bit. I mean, it's like, you know, it's not just a little bit. Have to hang on. Yeah, you kind of, it's, you know, the building moved a lot to make you really wonder if it's going to hold together. Since I know a lot about it, it tries to even visualize it as a wall. Nothing's falling. Correct? At D, at D, 
we can now add to D. All right, say it again, what you just said. Say it again. Shocker. It's a shocker. Yeah, Got to hold on. I mean, when you say this would be like a, a statement above your thinking this is going to happen, I mean, logically, it was just a surprise. <coughs> a surprise when saw it. Scary. 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 But see, that underlies the fact that, <coughs> that it's an old building, isn't it? Right? What do you yeah, think? that's important. Right. So that plays a role. Why? Talk about it. Because that does what? Well, it makes the danger far greater. Yeah. Okay. You know, the danger becomes more given, obvious. Given danger. Kind of, yeah. Right. Given the kind of earthquake it is, if I were in a plane building, second floor, even third floor in California, you know, we'd stop and notice it, you know, and see mm -hmm. is it going to be bad. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we'd be as freaky about the building as this one. So. You my office building. <laughs> okay. Notice what we can do now. We can go back to the idea of Rome as a place of old buildings, not ancient. No, these and now, what new feature is added? Dangerous old building. Yeah. Right? Structurally unsound now fits with the building in Rome, doesn't it? Right? This was a lower middle class building when it was built 500 years ago. I mean, this, this isn't like a, an old palace. It's yeah. Like this was never a great building. <laughs> 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 but it, uh, it is a structurally weak, right? Is that what you say? Uh, structurally you weak for an earthquake. It's fine yeah. for Rome, which is on a pretty heavy rock right. base and doesn't have earthquakes except south there, but it's like it's not a until this chapter now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> okay, good. So, we're making a statement now about the building. Yeah. What do you want to, want to say about but it? The building's very important to this. So yeah, it's, yeah. It's, and there's no, the, the intensity is not followed up on the top of this building. There's a lot of details of the building. I'm visualizing the stairways how to get down, visualizing how this is probably just a set concrete masonry building and the rocks will shift. I mean, I see all of these things. So you notice the detail. That's right. Lots of details. About right. Of the building. In terms of safety, too. That's right. I'm near a wall. All right. Good. 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 And the more you see, <coughs> the more urgent. The more urgent. All right, good. All right, so danger, the more you see, the more urgent it becomes. And you're paying attention now to the details. There's more details about the earthquake, too, because <coughs> it could be one of two kinds of earthquake. It could mm -hmm. be the foreshock, mm -hmm. which, if it is the foreshock, in most cases, at least the way I believe about earthquakes, doesn't have to, you know, yeah. that there won't be enough time to get out. Okay. Now, does that, was that, that sense present in the dream? Yes, it was. Okay. Very definitely. I'm judging. So you're making a judgment here. That's right. That this again, is? Again, the time to get down. If it's a foreshock, we won't make it. That's right. If it's, if it's an earthquake and then there's an aftershock, the likelihood is we'll make it to be smaller. But if it's a foreshock, that means the if is still after up. shock, enough time will be safe, we'll get out. Right. Right. It's going to be, if there's going to be an aftershock, yeah, it will be safe, there will be plenty of time. Yeah, if an aftershock, if fine. There, yeah, but if this is a foreshock before the big one, yeah. there won't be time. Right. At least the way I believe it. Right. So the dream doesn't resolve that issue, and we can leave it there and we know it's okay. All right, good, because it doesn't need it. But it's all those parts of those things uh -huh. top, that include the building and the third floor. <laughs> it's the first floor around the door. Right. In that, you make another judgment. It would be better to be in the USA if such a yeah. earthquake was going to take place. That's right. All right. Another judgment. Good. Better to be in the USA on the third floor of one of those buildings. One of those then. Right, right, right. In a USA building. Right, that's correct. Calm. Yeah, the earth calms down, but it's a tense calm. Mm -hmm. 
Because you're worrying now about the app. Is it a big one or is it just the app? No, no, right. And I'm still trying to get him out of it. Mm -hmm. And he's still ignoring it. Still ignoring it. Still the difficulty communicating. Even as the tension builds and the crisis becomes more and more acute, he's still resistant. Or what word we want to put on him? Hmm? He's still ignoring me. Still ignoring me. But in this case, he's not ignoring me, he's ignoring the situation. Ah, now look here. It moves from ignoring me to ignoring the danger, the situation. From words to events. Pardon me? Also, I'm noticing he ignores not only the words. But he ignores events. Yeah, the event, the situation, the event. Quite true. There's a sense of that up in that's, A and B. That's a shift, isn't it? There's a sense of that up in A and B because he's mm -hmm. ignoring the situation as well. I mean, mm -hmm. not the means to mm -hmm. get around. Mm -hmm. There's, that's more personal. This is more like, like Gary said, it's more uh, obvious dangers. And that's when you said he does it again. He's still resisting. In the face of all of that. In the words of the dream, it says, Bill isn't coming yet. That's what I said on the table. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, dream wise, how important do you see it is to go back over it, to talk about it? Essential. Uh, now we're building something, aren't we? We're building ignoring me, ignoring a dangerous situation. The danger, the dangerous situation may escalate into even a greater danger. And in spite of that, he's still resisting, or whatever we want to call that, reluctant to follow, whatever it is. It's an interesting dynamic this character built. Mm -hmm. Because he's, at the beginning of the dream, it's kind of a normal ignoring the relationship, you know what I mean, there's, you know, uh, you know I, mm -hmm. I don't know, go in some place and he wants to go one way or not go another, or something like that, it's not very intense, but as it goes on, as I become more intense on him leaving, as the earthquake happens and everything else, then his ignoring have greater consequences than yes. far in the village. Does the dream therefore resolve that problem? No. And wait a minute. We still don't know whether he's going to turn around. We still don't know whether there's going to be an aftershock. We don't, but there are plenty of signs of greater danger. We still don't know how going to abandon him. That's right. Still don't know whether you're going to abandon him and seek your own safety. We mm -hmm. don't know. Louder? You don't know. What's the state of mind that you are in at the end? Well, when. When you're looking, see, recover it. See, I uh, start wondering how fast I can get out of here, you know? Maybe I can get out before it happens. Uh, he's still resistant. Uh, but uh, he isn't coming yet. What's that duty? He's still caught between those two things. You know, and him trying to get him to come along or just leave and go myself and do it and leave. You know? mm -hmm. But it, I can't. So there's some kind of a connection between, between uh, he and I. He and me, it just doesn't. That connection between you two is producing a danger for both of you. That's right. Plus, right. so that neither of us will survive. Right. If so. Yes. And so your mind is slicker. See now if we can step away and talk about it in general for a moment. This is where you begin to have a different kind of reflection. If your dream master is giving you this dream, then you're facing something very significant. Facing? Facing. Yes. Right now. Yes something significant. Mm -hmm. And you have to make a judgment. What's the judgment? As you just expressed. You have a decision. I have to abandon something. I 
And that's one judgment we have to make. We're about to break this relationship. Because this guy hasn't changed. If anything, he's become more resistant. Ah, that's even better. I mean, Not still. See, yeah. we can add to that now, well, can we? I, I think it's like uh, more it's coming yet, which means like even though we've had this bloody earthquake and I'm obviously freaking out, it's not coming. This guy isn't. He's not changed. He's still there. Still there. He's still there. Yep. Not that good. It's something big in this evolution. This something. So you're seeing two things. You're seeing him becoming more resistant, and you're seeing the danger much more clearly. And you therefore can see the tension it puts you in, you have to make a decision, and the dream stops. Maybe I can get out, notice what you said before, maybe I can get out before it occurs. Mm -hmm. Could you read that line, please, in the dream? I don't know what that line is here. It says, um, oh yeah, no, I'm thinking maybe it'll do it again. I want to get out of there. Oh, maybe it will do it again. Yes. Maybe I it will do it again. Go ahead. And then I say, I want to get out of there. Thank you. I want to get out of there. I do. <laughs> Doesn't, I don't, but when we were talking about it, I was talking, I was thinking all these things in the dream, you know, doing no. this technology to try and mm -hmm. see if it's possible for me to get out before it does it again, yeah. get out to the street. Could you read it once more, please? Oh, I'll hold it. That part. I'll start with, oh shit, an earthquake in Rome. And I was thinking about how the buildings in the United States might be better. These are these old, old buildings. Mm -hmm. And it sort of, sort of calms down. And I look at it. And I'm thinking maybe it'll do it again, you know? Mm -hmm. I want to get out of it. Bill isn't coming yet. Uh, what? Last part? Bill isn't coming yet. That's right. Yeah, we've got that. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say on this phrase, I want to get out before it happens again. Bill isn't coming yet. With the implication and the sense in the dream that he's even more resistant than before. Right? So what do you see in that statement? I want to get out before it happens again. Not we. Well, I don't say you're putting two pieces together. I'm thinking maybe it'll do it again. I want to get out of there. Thank you. Say it again. So I want to get, get out, out of there. there. You said right. That's I. That's right. It's I. It is well, a we. The first no, no. Let's, let us get out of here. Uh, and that changes to I want to get out of here. That's right. By the way, is this the time when you're thinking if it's a foreshock, you're dead meat anyhow, but if it's a but if it, but if it's just the original earthquake you might have a chance. Like it's if you whether it, remember that earlier you said that the, That's right, D. D Yeah, D C and D and E where I'm thinking you both calm down. I'm wondering whether this is a foreshock or this is the actual earthquake. If it's a foreshock, I won't make it. So then the next statement is I want to get out of here. And you're even not even too sure you're going to make it anyhow in the dream. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that, that's true. Right. the air. Right? That's true. Yeah. But I don't know. I think my. I think I am making a decision that the best thing to do is to leave. Not yeah. sit there and let things go around. Yeah. Yeah. The best thing is to leave, whether or not it's a push up. Would you agree? It's getting close to a, a personal decision. Yes. Right. Very close. Right. But, but boy, it's not a lot. I mean, there's there's still a lot of connection. That's right. That guy That's right. Yeah. So I mean, it's that you say close. It's like closer. But closer. It, it isn't equivalent to mm -hmm. I will leave now before it happens. Again. That's right. No, it isn't anything like no. that at all. And it's not the we we must get out of here before it happens. No, again. no. And it's it's something I want to get him and I out of here. No. no it's not so the language goes towards the person. That's right. But, but the That's state right. of mind is still a great deal of, uh, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, concern. So you uh, When I say, yeah. like, it goes back up to, I'm going. Mm -hmm. See it up there? That's mm -hmm. really fake. Mm -hmm. That's really fake. That's a threat that doesn't have anything going on at all. Yeah. Even though I say it to 
second time, see, mm -hmm. I'm going. You know? mm -hmm. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. But when you see down there, I want to get out of here, that, that, uh, that's getting close. That's getting close to this. Close to that, making that true. Yeah. It is getting close, but it's still... It's know, still the time. It, you know, it looks like we're going to need a few more shakes and things to make that really <laughs> come true. I mean, the dream stopped long before that would be yeah. resolved. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that isn't just about resolve. Right. I'm not just about ready to turn right. and leave. Right. Now with him. It's <clears> not there. That's not there. It's okay. just an inquiry. Okay, let me ask you again. Look here, in terms of the dream. Is the symbol, is Rome losing its significance and the old building gaining? Therefore, what are we going to do? We're going to say, sir, would you please take a minute out and see if you can, the best of which you're able, to talk about the building as a building. As a building? Yeah, what's it like? What's it like? Uh, Just talk about the building. Dingy. Dingy. Come on, more. Minimal repair over its many long years. All the windows and doors are intact. Doors and windows are? It's intact. I mean, it's not a wreck building, but it's, you know, it's, you know, you can close the windows and that sort of thing, but it's... More? It's one of those buildings in Europe, you know, where it kind of settled into the ground. It's, you know, it's crooked here and there, and, you know, that kind of a thing. It wasn't made really well with the foundations originally, like some of the in Europe, so it's like a... So it's a stone building. Some of the masonry is falling out from the cracks of the stones. It's not a, the stones are not cut square and sharp like they are in expensive buildings. They're round, the masonry gets up to the doors. The stones don't fit? They, yeah, so they use lots of uh, mason, lots of uh, mortar to fill up the different spaces. The stones, stones don't fit, they use a lot of Sheet building to begin with. Sheet building. The reason it stands there is so buddy heavy, it just kind of sits on it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, you know, it's that kind of, the architecture is, the, the architecture is that it just you know, pile up those stones and they're so heavy, that's what they won't change. That's what we're looking at. That. That's what it is. I don't, I don't visualize the floors. I'm trying. That's the way it is. I mean, when you look out into the street, the whole neighborhood's like that. It's like the old stone street, the dirty. Probably was that way 50 years after it was built. It's sort of low, you know, lower middle class, even lower people. Mm -hmm. <coughs> together, that's the building. Yeah. It could be like one or two people who are tenants who are quite interested in something. Mm -hmm. Educated but not living. Pardon? Educated but not living what you would call the economic advantage life. Uh -huh. Living in a room and lots of different things or lots of things or other two years of things. Okay, now. Do you see what we're getting about the building? Do you see all the terms we've been able to identify? It's so heavy, it just sits there. It's cheap. It's an old building. It's now dirty and dingy. Uh, the stones are just piled up it, like it won't budge. Doors and windows are intact. It's an old stone building. The masonry is coming apart. Stones don't fit precisely. Transient people live there. Right. And now we go back to the third floor. Because now we can talk about it within this, within this, right? What it would mean to be on the third floor of that. Is that the top floor of the building? Not clear. Not clear, that's all we need. Okay, third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As you uh, reflect on it, 
what would it mean to be on the third floor of such a building? Well, it's a long way to get to the street. If you're on the second floor, you've got one flight of stairs and not a door. On the third floor, you've got to get down a flight of stairs, and conceivably, the second flight of stairs from the second to the first floor may not be a continuous run from there. Mm -hmm. It may not just be a no. stairway. may have to go. You may have to do something. No, no. So it's not clear. It's, not, it's a long way and not direct. That's right. And stairways, uh, when you're looking at a building like that, it seems like the stairways would fall before anything else. And the stairs may, in fact, be faulty. Uh -huh. What are we getting at? There's some blocks to get in the street. There's some blocks to get in the street. It's right into the river. It's just it's not annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Would this be a danger or a symbol? No, we don't. We're not, oh, no, yeah. We're not going there. Oh. So, see, what did we get for the third? We got that it's a long way to get to the street, right? It's not direct. The whole construction is faulty. You wouldn't get that on the second, would you? You wouldn't get that on the second. Therefore, if these ideas are important, he has to be on the third floor. Therefore, these ideas now are playing a more significant role. That's what it means to be on the third floor. Shall we do it? So, this building, therefore, can capture this idea that, you know what, you have to make a decision and you know what? It's a long way, structurally, where you're at. It's a long way to get to the street from where it's not direct. Uh, faulty stairs, and you're going to be going down there, and it might be another shocker. So like going to the second floor is almost like uh, going to the first floor is like having uh, another task you have to do or something like that. Or something. It, may, it might be the greater half to have gone from the third to the second. There may be more work, yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, See. so yeah. There's, there's a whole, there's we, something that has to be done that I don't know about. It right. could be underestimated That's right. to get to the street. That's right. Yeah. Remember the point we were making with great care before? Right? If he had responded, if he had acted earlier, where would it have landed him? On the we, second floor where there may be a lot of work to do. Well, or you may have already accomplished a great deal of work getting on the second floor. Well, just to get to the second yeah. floor, that's what I meant. Yeah. That's that there, yeah. you know, it may, it may, it's not enough. Yeah. yeah. So now we can go back and let's emphasize. It's like, it's not clear. I can kind of see the stairway, but I don't know what you have to go through the little, you know, that's right. That's right. the top of it. That's right. Yeah, the stairways were intrinsically dangerous. So it's, That's right. It's not clear that he yeah. could have made it to the second floor. That's right. Yeah. But, yeah, but it does create the possibility that he would be better off on the second. That's well, clear from this. Said, it certainly would have yeah. been better off had he been on the second floor when That's right. the earthquake hit. That's right. But right. It wasn't. So, so therefore, so what's, being really stressed, really what's being stressed is this is where he is at. You're saying that it implies it could be better to be on the second floor. Do you think that possible? Yeah. I mean, in terms of what you're saying. Well, if I got to the second floor, sure. Yes. Yeah. That, yeah. that would be a major accomplishment. Mm -hmm. Although that's twisted with the idea of whether or not it's... Besides, I don't know how tall that building is. The main thing is to get out. That's right. The problem is to that's get out. The problem getting out has to mean go through the second floor. Yeah. Somehow to get to the first Yeah. I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you take the goal so Yeah. There is no sense in the dream if I want to stay here and watch it just really sway. Yeah, well, yeah, good. Whether or not it's a poor shot or a yeah. main shot. Mm -hmm. Pretty, mm -hmm. the goal is to get out. Mm -hmm. Now we're going back now and we make another reflection. Now we're going to substitute in the dream the material that we've collected. 
keep all the material you have and all you do is read the dream once more uh, look at the dream once more only you substitute everything you developed back into the dream try it this way all right You are in Rome. I can't communicate with. That's wrong. What's wrong? Final. Difficult to communicate. That's wrong. Okay. You're in a. Shaky old structure. Yeah. Yeah. Not shaky. Not shaky. Strong. 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 Yeah. 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 Just, just sits there. Yeah, just sits there. So you have to use his language. Okay. Right. 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 So the dream is saying, look here, you're here in what's Rome mean? And on the third floor means what? A long way to go where you want to go. Right? May it's may not be direct, right? Maybe uh, run some risks. Uh, the, uh, I may have the wrong uh, assumptions of this. Yeah, yeah, I may have wrong assumptions. That's the third floor. All right, yeah. Uh, what's good for more specific states of mind could this stage be appropriate? What is that third floor? I mean, how does it feel? How does it feel dealing with the third floor? Well, see, see. Uh -oh. he gave it to us earlier. You may want to have him look at it once again. In terms of intensity, he gave yeah. it, but he didn't give us a lot at once. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. The, the question is not whether you're right or wrong. Yeah. The question at this point is, uh, would you mind reflecting and that saying once more the state of mind you were in and we've seen A? Well, anxious to get out of there. That's kind of low key. Anxious. Kind of anxious, low key. Uh, leaving the city, let's move on. You know, come on. Let's move on. Leave the city. And uh, I just have to see the street below. There wasn't any. Uh, there's already a part about how to get down. Yeah. Okay. What do you notice then? What can you use? What can you use? That there's already a desire, even before urgency, to get down. You that much. No, he added something. He added something significant. Come on, let's go leave Rome. Yeah, I kind of mentioned that before, but it wasn't very clear. But <coughs> go to some other city. So that's very important. Right, believing this whole difficulty in communicating. Right, leaving this. It's when he's leaving this that he finds he has a difficulty in leaving and that's this feature about Rome transported over into the image of his friend Bill. Alright, now, you want to leave this place, right? You want to leave this, the whole area, and, come on, let's go, I'm going. You feel that's a lie because, you, because there's a bond, some kind of a bond, that's right. isn't there, right? It's, it's and so what we're seeing is something about this bond in the dream. That's right. This bond is crucial. Right. Because I know I can go. He needs me to go, to leave. Mm -hmm. But if I were not to have that bond, it's mm -hmm. a simple matter to get out. And yeah. Go. yeah. So what if you were going to get on the second floor? I still already have part of it. Done. Right. So, all right. Do you see now we're taking the dream, we're taking the theme that runs through it, we're seeing how significant it is to talk about the bind or the bond between them. What's that like, seeing that bond? It seems 
it's unbreakable. And the end to that, it's really strong. takes me to the real scene which in my past when some years ago this is it what? It, it, I, I think about the actual mm -hmm. trip I had with this guy mm -hmm. which I think fits well, I think that's why the new master did it huh. that particular so now, now what's emerging is the relationship between the two builds it represents now something of greater significance because now we can talk about that right? there's a kind of relationship right? some kind of a relationship or obligation right. and, and what's that like? It doesn't have to be to a person can be to a thing can be to a variety of things I'm just reflecting in general terms on the same relationship. The obligation is that there are positive parts of this obligation. Mm -hmm. and yet, there's a limit on me because, because of it. Like, I can't... It, it, the obligation has a term. In other words, there's a period of time in which that obligation is going to go on. It's not going to be the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. At least, you know, there's, there is, and for the moment, it's there, and it's binding. And it's binding because of my honor, not because I'm going to shoot me if I leave, and somebody else is going to call me a shoot. It's because of my own mm -hmm. personal, you know, I don't mm -hmm. have any obligation to it. Right. I'm responsible. Right. Right. I mean, that's, that's what that whole image gives me from this. Right. That guy's dependent on me in some mm -hmm. way, but mm -hmm. not entirely. Not yeah. 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 in a sense of a person. That's right. It was a, you know, in the real life guy was a disabled person in a certain way. And, and, and could be. Could. Could. Could have made it. But it wasn't the, the agreement that I had made. That kind of thing. So yeah. I, I'm wrapped into it somehow. And, uh, wrapped into it. There's no, it's not all negative, it's not like I'm a slave. It's an agreement. It's really hard to talk about it in a sense because in the dream, as, as we've seen, to the end of the dream, there's never a resolution of that bond. There's no, no. not even a serious challenge of it. But you are moving in a certain direction. There's no doubt about it. Either that guy's going to start moving or this bond will be broken. Yeah. Right. You know, there, there is that strength. And, you know, look at all that work I did with D, EF, and all that intellect about building, you know, considering the risks and so forth. There's a lot of movement going toward that. But this guy doesn't respond soon. Now, <clears throat> what's interesting is that in this dream, the dream master is pointing out that it can get worse. Yeah. May not, but it can potentially get worse. Side of the thing, whether or not it gets worse, it's pointing out the bond. That's pointing out, focusing yeah, on the bond. That's the focus right, right there, right. because uh, you don't live in an immediate goal, get out the street, and all the things over there, so you don't have to be that intensity. That's all over, but there's still going to be that bond for another time. Would you agree that everybody finds themselves in such situations with things 
obligations all over the place. Therefore, right, your dream master is presenting you with something and it looks like you've come to a realization in your dream. That's right, that's right. And it's barely hinted at here. I want to get out. Right. Same hint. It's emerging. Yeah, the, the, the eye is becoming stronger. From the the eyes are becoming going, stronger. Uh, the eye going is a threat totally within the relationship. Mm -hmm. Like two teenagers mm -hmm. wrapped up with each other, never meet each other, mm -hmm. play this game up. Mm -hmm. But uh, as it comes to I want to get out toward the end, of it, that's more of a mature judgment mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. getting close to where whether or not this guy is. No. Really you now have the the major image, don't you? you? have the major image for the dream. That is the relationship between the two bills. Now you go back and you ask one big question. Where, where would you say you experience that most intensely? Right at D. The relationship part? No. And the possibility that either he moves or the obligation is over. What do you say? T E F G. The, the bond is weakest at the end. Weakest at the end. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I mean, it was, yeah, yeah, say, yeah. Bill isn't coming yet. It's almost like I'm observing this guy more objectively. And one is, it's like you know, an emotional bond that people come so He's not coming. And for some reason, he's ignoring me. Mm -hmm. And the last is coming close to him being foolish. That's right. And you're seeing that it's getting close. Yes. He is being. There is that dynamic. That's right. That's right. Unless, That's right. I think it's the yet. Dream Master chose a scene how long ago? Were you in Rome? 25 years. In this I mean, year. in Rome, what year? 1907. With this guy. Okay. But so your Dream Master went back, pulled out this scene, right? And it represents this? Yeah. And you're, like everyone, you're involved in all kinds of obligations, but what's your Dream Master saying? Whatever it is, there's a certain one or number where there's a bond to something that if it doesn't change. It's got to be casting broken. Mm -hmm. broken. Now, either he moves the obligation is over. It's like if he doesn't move, I will have to take the initiative to mm -hmm. break this bond. Yes, yes. That would be a better way to say that. That's nice, is. wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Then you would be taking the initiative too. Right. So you see. This is a possible way of understanding this dream. Therefore, if he can watch the succeeding dreams and watch for this state of mind, then we can see what form it takes. Right now, it's personal. We're seeing, though, it has a universal significance. That is to say, we're all involved with builds. But it's so far, it's functioning on the level of personal, isn't it? Now. Old structures that can't take much of a shock from reality. Or the structure may take it old, Wolverstone spit, but there may be damage. The person inside the structure right, so it's not right. Oh. right it's, the, you know, the stairwell may collapse. Right. So it's not saying that the entire structure is at fault. It's at risk. But certain parts and his personal safety is at risk various degrees. But, so look here. There's a universal. Yeah. Now look here. 
we've speculated. Right. We could have first agreed, we could have said, by heavens, there's Rome, the holy city of Rome. And third, he's on the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, the Trinitarian concept. We could have allowed, imposed all kinds of symbolic significance to it. But we're saying, look here, there is something that the dream master is focusing on, and it's equally likely that since this is a very significant thing in your life, that it's going to continue. As this theme moves away from a personal and historical reference, then you'll get the more general symbol. It will merge. It will develop. You can watch it develop. And therefore, uh, and again, it depends upon, as obviously it will, in your own personal life, to the degree that you are refreshed by this experience of, of looking at this dream and seeing what it's offering you, you're going to be more attentive to your daily life to see where this is going on. And therefore, the play of both together is going to lift it out of the personal and we're going to find more transcending symbols. That's the way the dream works. All right, good, good. Now, part we left out, which was real nice, which I find quite interesting. So, <clears throat> as you recall it, let's see if we can get it and look at it now, fresh. The way you expressed it originally, and then when you reflected on it, it went through an interesting change. Calm down, E. Mm -hmm. Let's look at it again. It says here it sort of calms down. Yeah, that's the way it said. Right? Sort of calms down. Means what? Literally. Pure. Sort of. Sort of means it's not sure it's calling it. It's kind of apparent. It's apparent. It's it may... It could be fooled. That's right. It's part of the reflection. Yeah, yeah. Sort of calms. The sort of calm down means it's still doing what? Something a little different. See, there's still something going on. So it isn't a plateau. Uh, or settled. It isn't a settled condition. It could be a plateau of, of, on another level. It could be going up. Yeah. Yeah. So therefore, what, what looked like a possibility of a calmness suggesting less danger now is foreboding. That's right. That's right. right. <coughs> and therefore, it sort of calms down, and I look at it, and I'm thinking maybe it'll do it again. See? And I look at it, and maybe <clears throat> it will do it again. <clears throat> See, in this dream, there's not only a focus of attention on the building, and the, the stair, pardon me, and the streets, remember the way you described the streets? But there's also a focus on the state. So, hey, I'm looking at it, maybe it will do it again. You're looking at it. Talk about that. Very weird state. Go ahead. <coughs> no, weird.
answer? You're focused. Right. You're looking. Right. You're aware. You're trying to make a certain kind of becomes the major moment. That's right. And a lot depends upon that judgment and what you're looking at and trying to understand it. What is it? Apprehension. Right? Here and now. Right now. Awareness of it. You have to make a judgment. That's right. It's That's a true. judgment for action. This is why it's interesting what it's going to do. Because uh, he's not doing any of this apparently at all. He is Anywhere. Where is he? He's not here now. He's over talking to somebody, as far as I know. It's not clear. But he's not paying, well, unaware of me. He's not paying attention to what's going on right now. And therefore he can't. Oh, no, he's. See, they're opposites. They're opposites. Awareness and unawareness. Awareness and unawareness. It's being contrasted. It's a purposeful being He's ignoring it, which is an action. And uh, it's almost uh, trying not to look at it. Finding ways not to look at it. See, that's not just passive, is it? No. See, that's not just passive. By focusing on this calm state, we can see this opposition between the two of them. And does it not begin to look like there's a certain uh, negativity? Yeah. What word would you give? Yeah. Negativity. Well, it isn't that he is simply a passive and unaware, as if. He's not. He's not playing. He's not a dwarf or you know an unaware person. Just, no. No, he's actually attempting to not deal with me and, and insanely not deal with you. Yeah, both. So it's not dealing with you or the issue. And, and trying ways yeah. not to look at all. Yeah. What's the name of that? Someone who tries. Oh, I'll get one. Watch. Yeah. See, put a name on that and we're ahead. If someone were to do that on board a ship, what would you say to them? They were a sailor, sailing a ship, and they were doing that. And they're on watch, what would you tell them? I mean, what kind of ship I'm on, I'm sure they're leaving the duty in some cases to put on the bridge because they're in the coast boat. That's right. Sure. This is, what is that? How does that? How does that highlight? I just think it'd be helpful if you have a word for that. How does it highlight? How does it highlight? How does it highlight? Well, we'll get there. And so, it, you know, like on a ship, you'd say that was a guy who was close to you, and at least not. He's not doing that kind of action. Uh, but? He's, he's, but? Yeah, he's an impediment. He's a heavy impediment. He's trying to be a, he's a pain in the ass. <laughs> But he's a pain for what reason? He, what would you say if someone is trying ways not to look at you or the situation? Thank you. And put you in danger as well as himself. Okay. Name, please. Has to be his. Are you throwing it over for everybody? No. Has to be his. 
Well, you know, the shipboard analogies would be kind of like a if it were an operating room and this was one of the doctors. That's so funny. If this was a card game. Okay, just put it anywhere. Mechanics. You're supposed to be working together with a team. That's all those look like sabotage. They all look like you and your sabotage. But on a very dull kind of level, that this guy is not the most dangerous, actually, because an active saboteur, if you catch him, at least you have some interaction, you can pair him. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. guy is very subtle, so it's very difficult to. It's very difficult to He's stubborn. He's really stubborn, too. Yes, he can be stubborn about it, but given this situation, what name do you want to put on him? A lot of nasty words, but I don't really quite capture it. Well, I don't know. I'll, tell, I'll take a couple. Well, I mean, I know it's, you know, you, it's, it's, you call them some of them mention all those, but I'm not, they're not going to work. Those aren't names, that's right. That's what I mean. Right. Those are just It's like, um, it's a saboteur. Saboteur? That's all I can get out of it. What does that now do for the relationship? One of the people in the relationship then is what? That's what we get. He's taking advantage of this bond. Doing this. He's taking advantage of the bond. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Pardon me? They are saying he said that he, this character knew he wouldn't explain when he said, I'm going, and it was an idle threat, so to speak. He said the other person knew. Okay. How did we get this? We went to calm down, we went to the state of mind, as we always do, right? That will then allow us to make a contrast. The contrast was made between aware and unaware, right? Because he has to make a judgment at that time. It's a judgment for action. He now has to look at this person who's engaged with him. And now we have a new way of describing him. We set up analogies to try to see what that person would be like in another situation. When we found other situations, we found another name for it, which was quite handy, a saboteur. So Notice, that's yeah, no, see, difficulty to communicate. This whole thing, there's a difficulty in putting names. All right, part of the part of the dream. So it's very significant that for you, let us assume for the, the moment, but you have to be careful, we're just doing this for tonight. Let's assume we're right about the dream. If so, then the dream master gave him a bond to explore where the, the person or thing has an appearance and that appearance keeps you from judging the bond. That's right. That's right, I mean, uh, you know, Kenny's right over here, the saboteur doesn't quite capture it. It's a, a problem because it's important to understand the bond, then you can easily label this stuff. No, and the saboteur usually is in respect to some other kinds of... Yeah, it is. Systems. Yeah, it's more like an assassin, but that's not even right. It's, you know, it's, it's not, he doesn't have that, his intent is not there. It's intense to be a pain in the butt. I mean, he's really, he's not... But he's in this scene, is it... It becomes dangerous in this scene. That's right. It's not just a pain in the butt, as you call it. Yeah, right? This dangerous. is dangerous. Immense danger to both of you. That's right. Well, through the end. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> All right. So, we went to the calm state, did that. Yeah. Then go back for a state of mind. See what's functioning in it. Then we can make our contrast. And now we can go back and say quite significant what the dream master is doing. You have to work through this, assuming we're right, you have to go through this kind of reflection over and over again like this, staying with it to make that connection. Therefore, the very process of analysis, you grow up. You have to face your words. And therefore, dream analysis is 
producing a growth. Why? Because you're forcing yourself to make judgments about this, uh, dealing with the implications of it, trying to find names for it, talking about whether or not, it, we still don't have the right name, but we know we're closer. It's impeding my progress. Mm -hmm. And a quick reflection of my daily life. So yeah. I think it's very yeah, mm -hmm. that's a, that is a problem. Good. It's a problem Good. getting moving and things yeah. like that. Yeah. But and it's not something simple. No. No. It's not because if it were something simple, mm -hmm. uh, well I would have a dream probably, but you know, if we looked in terms of a dream, there wouldn't be a problem. I would just turn around and leave. Where do you want to go? What? That's right. And once you get that right name, that'll be easy to see. We don't have to worry. Uh, so the symbols are the final thing we can going get. to emerge. It's going to emerge. <clears throat> right. And what are we doing? We're searching for the meaning, the logos. That's what we're doing. Searching for the meaning. The logos. We have a relationship there that doesn't have a name yet. That's right. But we're getting close to putting a lot of things together. That's right. Right. What's what's the that's come up before. What's the significance of the difficulty we have putting names on these? <laughs> because because it seems like the crowd would always know that the right came for. There is no freedom. <laughs> from your own personal ignorance until you put the name. And it's got to fit. It's got to fit. It can't have any ambiguity about it. Then you're free. Because you're facing something. You put a name on it, then you're putting some interesting symbol on it. If, um, if we were midwife and being like this and we were to find a relationship like this and that name was very vague, but there were states of mind, clear states of mind attached to it, would it be helpful then to go to the past mm -hmm. to see if there's a history of that state of mind? No, I wouldn't. No, because... Um, it looks like this is a dream that's going to be in a series. And you can go along with it. Right? He's a very attentive gentleman, right? He's going to be looking at it. He's going to look at his life. He's going to see where these states of mind come up. Therefore, watch the dreams. They're going to make it clearer. Yeah. Thank you. Questions? Searching for the logos. Like we are, we are searching for the logos for each of them. the images that are presented in the dream. His, his words, right? that the apostles are searching for the logos as well as in the young uh, No, answer. Conclusion. Yeah. Yeah, I, was, I was seeing that. Um, Yes. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. But I have seen that, this, that, in, that the images in the dream, mm -hmm. initially, if you were to just take it from the first description, without having looked for his personal meanings and behind each of those symbols, would have not, I would not have at all brought out any of the content that emerged since then. It's, it's almost like it, it's hidden. A dream is a fragment. And you have to create the universe of which it is a part. And that's why we talk about it, right? Carl Jung sometimes calls that amplification. Get the person to amplify. Talk about it. Right. Because you never want to make an analysis before you've, ex as far as you can see, you've exhausted it all. Talk about it, states of mind, everything you can. Last thing of all, 
meaning. You don't want to force meaning on anyone, especially upon yourself. And then that's another level of perception, as well as thinking. That may be another level, but that's the way I'm using it. Okay. Good. 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 Any questions? Any more? Good. cup of tea. I'll invite you for a cup of tea as well. Thank you. My pleasure.